What is up guys, Dane again. Today we're going to be talking about funnels because guess what? I actually love building funnels. If you haven't noticed, I'm actually now going to be switching over to using my Nikon D33 DSLR. Yes, there's my little humble flex of my camera brag. I know it's not the fanciest thing ever, but I wanted to try something new. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to set up the Facebook Pixel on a lead pages, so not click funnels, but lead pages, landing page funnel. Let's dive in. If you haven't noticed, I'm also wearing my brand new super fancy Swanwick blue uh, light blocking glasses. So I'm in front of a computer so freaking often that you know I get really bad eye strain. Uh, not saying that oh I'm an affiliate go buy it right now it's just just giving a shout out to a good product that really really works. But on to today's lesson. You're gonna see plenty other youtubers on here talking about using click funnels. Well the next couple videos I'm gonna do I'm gonna talk about lead pages. I actually am gonna make a video kind of really comparing and contrasting both lead pages and click funnels and be as unbiased as po as possible. Honestly, I feel most people do the compare and contrast videos because they want to get an affiliate link by, you know, showing for one side or the other. I'm gonna try and be as down to earth as possible. But on to today's subject. Now lead pages is software that allows you to build landing pages. A landing page is pretty much a web page that really has only one objective. And usually that objective is to click on the call to action button. So say it's to get a free guide or to opt in for a consultation, that's the call to action. You want to make sure people only go to that CTA. They don't go to, say, anywhere else on a website. Because for example, a website, you know, has a menu bar, it might have content here, content there. A landing page is just one page and you're going right down to it. Well then when it comes to a sales funnel or a, or a whole landing page funnel, that's usually a couple of landing pages daisy chained together. Now that's really great because you made page one is download the guide and page two is an upsell and page three is a confirmation. Page. Or you could have even more combinations such as landing page, maybe a form and then a confirmation page or maybe even just a one time upsell offer. There's a lot of things you can do with a funnel. However, one thing you definitely need to make sure you do do is actually to track the data. Now, one popular way to do so is to use the Facebook Pixel. And there's a couple of reasons why you should use the Facebook Pixel. Let me tell you a couple of them. Now, to begin with, a lot of people do use Facebook ads to send traffic to their funnel, so you definitely want to do a couple of things with the information that's coming in. For example, the people that are coming into the funnel and opting in, it's really good to get insight from them. And furthermore, to add on top of that, you can actually create a custom audience based off the people who convert, which makes it a lot easier for running conversion campaigns. Typically, I know for myself, if I'm sending people to a brand new funnel, I'll start with a traffic campaign. Once I get enough opt-ins for um, the right pixel data, which is why you need the pixel to be uh, installed properly, you are then able to run a conversion campaign solely focused on sending people who are more likely to convert through your funnel. As you can tell, just from that, that's a very good reason to have pixel data. Furthermore, having the Facebook Pixel installed allows you to retarget people who don't install. In a later video, I'll be showing you how to do that. And of course, last but not least, when you're running ads to a funnel, you want to see how much it's costing per click, how much it's costing per acquisition, and how much you're spending on all this stuff. If you're just sending people through a funnel, but there's no way to actually you know, record that data, well, this could become very, very expensive for you. And also, you just don't even know what the conversion rate is from page to page to page. For all you know, you might have a really good first page, and your second page is just falling on space. Well, if this is supposed to be a self-liquidating offer where people really need to purchase in on that second page to get to the higher ticket offer, you want to make sure that's going down. Now, before we jump right to my computer, make sure you give me a comment, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I really am going to be moving more into talking about how to make funnels. And if you hear scratching noises, well, uh, I have a cat, and the litter box is right over there. Fantastic. And of course, in the description, I'm going to have a couple links to a couple things that I have. For example, I do make designer landing pages. Go ahead and check out my portfolio, and also check out my Facebook group as well, and make sure you join up. Now, right before we jump to my computer so I can show you where to get the Pixel 
and where to install it on the landing pages. Just a little bit of backstory. So this is actually a funnel I built for one of my clients. He absolutely loves my work because I, apparently I do really good work. So a couple things we're going to be needing. You're going to need your Facebook pixel. You're going to need to have your lead pages account and at least a two page funnel built. And also we're going to be playing around with custom conversions, a little, little uh, extra right there so we can definitely optimize for doing conversion ads. So if you have those already, let's go ahead and jump in. All right guys, and here we are on my desktop. As you can tell, I have lead pages open and also business manager. So in your business manager, go ahead and head on over to your pixel. And of course, click on the pixel and make sure you have it already set up. And of course, when we're here, we're going to go ahead and click on set up and go to manually install your code yourself. Right on down here to uh, copy the entire code and clip into the website header. So let's go ahead and copy to click. And we're going to go right over here. Now, here is the back end for uh, lead pages. This is for my client. If you guys didn't know, I actually work with Daniel Di Piazza. He's a really cool guy. Um, here's a link to his channel. I mean, I like him. He's cool. So here's a funnel that I built for him. It's really beautiful. I'll, do, I'll give you guys a quick tour as well. Uh, but first, we need to install that pixel code onto the first page, which is this one right here. As you can tell, here we are loading up on the first page of the funnel. I put this all together, and I think it looks fantastic. We're going to want to go right over here to page tracking. Now, keep in mind here it says the header part of your website. Well, lead pages doesn't quite have that, but it does have an option for analytics, which it does consider its header tracking code. So what you would do, as you can see, I already have it installed here. You would take that code, and you would just simply paste it right here. And of course, if you like, you can put the view content script right here. In my personal opinion, if it's the first page, um, I would go ahead and do so, but it's not exactly necessary, but I would just do so for good measure. And of course, once you have that pasted there, make sure you save and also that you update. And of course, make sure you have your little Google plugin to make sure it's working. So if we click on view page, it's going to load up just like that. Thank God it's all green. Now that's really great that we have this one page installed with the pixel. So yes, going back to these other two pages, which are part of the funnel, uh, to give a br brief explanation. To give a brief explanation, this is the uh, initial landing page. This is the uh, questionnaire. It's a type form embedded onto a page. And this is the confirmed page. So that means we want to have a pixel on all of these. So we want to make sure we have a pixel on every single one of these pages. More so this one. I mean, this one is great. I want to make sure people are going there. It kind of allows me to track every single step of the funnel. But this one's the most important. And the reason why is because this is the page where we close the loop. And of course, this is where we definitely want to put in a very important Facebook pixel, you know, a little script. So let me show you where that is. So hopping over to Facebook. After we got this done, we're going to go to continue. And this adds it up here. And what we want to do is we want to track an event. Because what this funnel ultimately does is it acquires leads. People go to the first page. They click the next one. They fill out the form. Once they fill out the form, they come here where they're considered a lead. Because we're going to contact them about what they entered in on the form. So they are a lead. So first things first, you want to go to tracking. You want to make sure you install your base pixel. And then, since this is a lead, we want to go to generate lead right here which means we can copy this to the clipboard and after we put in the Facebook pixel right here and as you can tell I have it right here lead of course make sure it is saved update and let's take a look at that page to make sure it's working and as you can see on this page we have three we have page view and we have lead which means when a person goes through this funnel Facebook is going to track that data. As you can tell, it's tracking right through here. 39 leads, all this content view, and all these page views. So I'm going to show you that one really special thing about creating a custom conversion. So you'll go right here, and this is very, very specific. So what you want to do is you want to switch it over from URL traffic, which is possible, but you want to switch it over to what type of little script event that we just installed. Because remember, there was purchase, there was complete registration. Well, we just did a lead. So that means Facebook is going to be looking for whenever that fires, you know, the lead pixel fires, and also on a certain web page. 
And of course, that certain web page has a certain URL. So we go right here, and we would just simply copy it in. That means Facebook knows what that custom conversion is. And of course, you want to make sure you name it. Now, I already do have this set up, so let me show you what that looks like. It's set up right here under Alpha Research Lead. And there we have it. As you can tell, we have this entire funnel already pixeled, which means when a person goes through the funnel, the, fun the Facebook pixel goes ahead and pings them, make sure that we can track them, retarget them. We can use that custom conversion to go ahead and target other people as well and really optimize to get people to convert through this entire funnel. All these cats are over. All right, guys, I hope you found this video super helpful. If you have, go ahead and give me a subscribe and a notification. Once again, feel free to check out my landing page portfolio and also make sure you join my Facebook group. Heck, I also have a link down there so you can also join my email list. You know, that way you can always get notified by email when I make new stuff, when I write things. People say I'm actually an okay writer as well, go figure. So if you like my content, go ahead and just hit me up through all those channels that I've absolutely thrown at you. And I will see you guys next time.